Tis Vav Amid Aleph. We'll begin at the bottom of Yud Dalit Amid Beis, the last line. Vav Rav Yechonin writes that she a kabbal of all machos shemayim shleima. If a person wants to make a complete all machos shemayim, yipana v'yital yada v'yaniach tefillin v'yikra krishma v'yispalo. He should relieve himself, wash, put on tefillin, lay in krishma and daven v'zuhi machos shemayim shleima. That's a complete Malchus Shemaim. He's purifying himself. He puts on tefillin. He binds his tefillin to his arm, his heart, his head, his achshavas, his thoughts, his entire being is meshubad to the Rabbeinu Shalom. He, he subjugates himself to the Rabbeinu Shalom completely with his body and soul. That's all Malchus Shemaim Shleimah. If somebody does that, it's as if he built a mizbeach, the hikravala, korban, and he's marked the korban. So it's as if he surrounds the mizbeach of Hashem. So when he does that, he's erchatz ben nikayan. He cleanses himself. It's like he builds a mizbeach and his marker of a carbon. Only Rabbi Leisarel Mar, do you not hold kilu tovel? It's as if he's tovel as well. Dirsiv erchatz. It says erchatz like siv architz. It says erchatz ben ikoyin. As Rashi points out, that if it meant specifically, specifically in the hands, it should say architz. Erchatz is much a more general term. His whole body. So it says erchatz ben ikoyin like siv architz kapan. Look at this Tamar Chacham, he came from Eretz Yisrael Vama, and he said, If a person doesn't have water to wash, the offer of his Svar of a Kispus. He cleanses himself with any cleansing material, with earth, with pebbles, with wood chips, anything that could scrape off the dirt. If he doesn't have water, he uses any of these materials, any of these cleansers as a substitute. Malay Shabri Comrade, he's saying is correct. Miksiv Erchatz Bamayim, it doesn't say with water. Benikoyinksiv, with cleanliness. Kol Midi Demenaki, anything that cleanses. So if he doesn't have water, he uses any of these cleansers. The Harav Chizda Light Amand Maharamaya Bidin Tlaisa. Because Rav Chizda used to be upset with somebody at the time of Tzleisa, that if he was searching for water, or he went to, to wash, because we're worried that he'll miss the time. But Vahani middle of Krishna, that's only mentioned as far as Krishna goes, because we're worried about the time limit. But for Tvila, which Raji says the whole day is a time for davening, then he should go after water, and then he should wash himself with water. What is the time limit? There's a, a limit for that as well. But kama at parasa, the time it takes to walk a parasa four meal, the time it takes to walk eight thousand amas. Vahanimile, that's his said lekame. If it's going in his direction, he's not going out of the way. Avalachir, if he's going backwards, if he's going out of the way, I feel a mill ain't a chaser. He doesn't even go a distance of a mill. Oh, me no, we can make a dig from that. Me no, mill who dena chaser. A mill he doesn't go. But but if it's less than a mil, he would be chayzer. That's the girsa that we have in the Gemara, and many do not have this girsa. Taisa says that this is an incorrect girsa. There's no difference between Krishna and Tvila, because Tvila also has a time limit, and he says this is an incorrect girsa. And some say even that Rashi that makes this chilik, this is not really Rashi. It was inserted, but it's not really the sheet of Rashi either. And they hold there is no difference. If you're worried about the time limit, you use a substitute. You don't use water. However, lecherchila, certainly in both cases, if water is available, he should wash with water. Let's see the Mishnah HaKairi. If someone recited the Shema V'lo Yishmi'ala and he did not hear what he was saying, he also, he is Yaitza. Rav Yaisi, I'm Rav Yaitza. Rav Yaisi, he is not Yaitza. Next halach hakara v'lo yidiktik v'oisei yisaha. He recited the Shema and he did not enunciate the words carefully. He swallowed the words or he did not pronounce it properly. Rav Yaisi, I'm Rav Yaitza. Yer Yaitza, Rav Yehud, I'm Rav Yaitza. Akira Lamafreya. 
Another halach, he kair lamafre, he read, he recited it out of order, lo yotsu, he is not yotsu. Finally, kara if he read, recited the Krishna, made a mistake, yachsu lamakam shita, he goes back to the place where he made a mistake. So if he omitted a pasuk, he goes back to the pasuk that he omitted and he recites there in order, from there in order. So the Rish of the Mishnah brought down that Rabbi Yaisi says if he does not hear what he was saying, he is not Yaisi Krishna. My time of the Rabbi Yaisi, what's the reason for Rabbi Yaisi? Mishum, because the Chsiv Shema. Hashma lo aznacha mashata maitzimi picha. The word Shema implies that you have to hear, you have to hear what you're saying. The Tanakhama who argues says, Savar Shema, becholoshan shata shame. He says, no, the implication of Shema is in any language. But not that you have to hear what you're saying. Rav Yaisi Tatish Mamin Rav Yaisi says you can learn out both halachas from that because Shema implies any language that you understand, any language that you hear. So you have to hear what you're saying. So you can learn out both halachas. Tanan also we learned in the Mishnah in Truma is Cherish Hamadab Rav Enishimaya, a person who is a Cherish. He can speak, but he can't hear. He's deaf. Lo Yitram, he should not. Be tyram, he should not be mafresh the truma. The midst of being mafresh from the new produce, the truma, he should not do it because he has to make a bracha. Prior to being mafresh truma, one has to make a bracha. And he can't hear what he's saying. So therefore, he should not be mafresh because of the inability to properly make the bracha. But being tarim, truma also truma. But if he did be the abed, the truma is a truma because saif called saif, he was mafish the truma, so he was yaitzim. So man tana cherish and madam ravena shemayed the abed in the charchiloi. Who is the man domer who says that if he can speak, but he can't hear? Lecharchila, he should not do it. But be the abed, he's yaitzim. Who is this Tana? Omar of Chis Rav Yaisi. The Tana is Rav Yaisi. This Nana Keres Shema Lo Yishmi Lo Ozna Yotz. If he recited the Shema and he did not hear what he said, he's Yotz. The Rav Yehuda the Bach takes out the Rav Yehuda because that's not the gears of our Mishnah. Rav Yaisi Mer Lo Yotz. Rav Yaisi in our Mishnah says by Shema if he did not hear what he's saying, he's not Yotz. Ad kan loy kam Rav Yosi loy yotsa. Now where did he say you're not yotsa? Ela gabe krishma the rice. That's only gabe krishma where the recital is the rice. Aval truma, but truma mishum bracha bracha the rabbana. But the bracha by by truma that bracha is the rabbana, and the loy bracha talia milsa. And the mitzvah of hafrashus truma is not dependent on the bracha. It's not dependent on the bracha. So therefore, the broch is a rabbanan, and your yaitz is not rushes truma in any event. And a broch which is the rabbanan, we do not say this. Rav Yosi would not say that b'diavad you're not yaitz. He says by krishma, which is a deraisa, but here the broch is a rabbanan. There is much discussion in the achrayim. It seems to be two reasons over here. Is this really two reasons, or is it one reason that Krishna is a deraisa and the broch is a derabonan? The loyba brocha talia milsa, and it's not tolly. The hafrasha truma is not tolly on the brocha. Givegu seems to be learning that if the brocha would be a deraisa, then the actual midst of the hafrasha it would be ma'akiv. But there is much discussion. It is two reasons, two separate reasons. I'll call upon him. We're machalic between Krishna, which is a Doraisa, and the Bracha by Truma, which is a Drabana. Practically more we might the Ravyaisi. Who says that the Tan and Truma is Ravyaisi? Tell me Ravi, who did he make the Tan is Ravi? Vamar Gavi Krishna, Nami Deyavid in the Kharkhil Aloy. And even by Krishna, he also he said Bidiyavid in the Kharkhil Aloy. It's only Bidiyavid that he's Yaitza by Krishna, but maybe he would say that. Lecharchila by Krishna as well. He should not recite it without hearing. And maybe it's a general requirement the Rav Yudah holds. And there's no difference if it's the right side or the right And meaning lecharchila, you should hear what you're saying. But the Yavad, you're Yoitza. And so maybe the Tana of Trumas is Rav Yehuda. And Teda, and I'll prove it to you, the Tani Hakaira. Because the Lashon in our Mishnah is Akira. If one recited Krishna, but the Yavid, if he recited Krishna, then Rav Yudah says, you're Yaitse. The Yavid, and Lachar Chil Aloy. 
So doesn't that show you that even Rabbi Huda says, Lechachila, you are required to hear what you're saying? Amina. I the Tani Hakaira that that it says a kair in a lotion of the perhaps it's not as far as not for the purpose of Rabbi Huda. But Rabbi Huda says even the Kharkhila you don't have to hear what you're saying. I the Tani Hakaira is like the Yachakaira of Yaisi. Perhaps it's only to show you how far of Yaisi goes. The Amr the Yevan Nami Lai it says a kair even if he has said recited the Kris. He already did it. Rav Yaisi says, Lo yotze, even B'dayevet, you're not Yaitza. But perhaps, as far as Rav Yehuda is concerned, even L'Charchila, there's no requirement to hear what you're saying. The Rav Yehuda, Afi L'Charchila, Nami Yaitza. Because Rav Yehuda perhaps would say that even L'Charchila, you're Yaitza. So at this point, we're saying that Rav Yehuda, at this point we're suggesting that Rav Yehuda says, even L'Charchila, there's no requirement to hear what you're saying. And we're saying that Rav Yaisi says by Krishna, which is a derisa b'diyavid, you're not Yaitse. But by Truma, where the brach is a derabonon, it's only lacharchila, not, but b'diyavid, you would be Yaitse. So that's what we're suggesting at this point, that Rav Yehuda makes no difference. And he says lacharchila, even lacharchila, there's no requirement. And Rav Yaisi says there is a requirement. If it's a derisa, then even b'diyavid, you're not Yaitse. If it's a derabonon, it's only lacharchila that you're required to, but b'diyavid, you are Yaitse. Correct more if that's the case, but my, I came to Rav Yaisi. So how are you saying? That the mission of Truma is Rav Yaisi. Velaha, the sign we learned in a rice. Lo yevara haram berchas hamazon belibai. Berchas hamazon benching, he should not do in his heart. He should speak it out. He has to express the words. Vim berach yatsa. But if he did, he is yatsa. If he did, he is yatsa. So he did not hear what he was saying. And we're saying, but the have your yatsa. Now, berchas hamazon is the rice. So man, lo yevara yatsa, lo yevara so according to the approach that we just stated, then it comes out according to neither of them. The Rabbi Yehuda ho Amr Lacharchila Nami because according to the approach that we just learned, Rabbi Yehuda says even Lacharchila your yaitz. There's no requirement even Lacharchila by Krishna, which is the right sense. Similarly, by Rechosam also, and here it says it's only by the Evan. And if Rav Yaisi Devan Nami Loi, and if according to Rav Yaisi, even Bidi Yavid, he's not Yaitz. So then according to this approach, who's the man Tomar by Berchas Amaza? Elamai, what must you say, Rabbi Yehuda, that it's Rabbi Yehuda? And Bidi Yavid in Lecharchila Loi. And it's only Bidi Yavid, but Lecharchila, you are required to hear what you're saying. But we do have a mandomer that clearly says that by truma he can the cheresh medaber in shemir he's deaf but he can do it lecharchila. Now according to the approach or stated approach, money who is that mandomer? Loy Rav Yehuda or Rav Yosi? It comes out according to neither. E Rav Yehuda ho Amar the evidence lecharchila loy because according to what we just said, even Rav Yehuda said he's only yaitz but the evidence but lecharchila he is required to hear what he's saying and hear this man Amar by Truma says that you're not required even lecharchila you're not required. E Rav Yosi Amar the evidence nami loy and according to Rav Yosi we're saying that but the evidence you're also not yaitz. Ela la oilam Rav Yehuda Rafiel lecharchila nami. No, so now we're going back to the approach we said before. Really, Rabbi Huda says that even Lacharchila, there's no requirement to hear what you say. And therefore, by Krishna, you're not required even Lacharchila. And by Truma, even Lacharchila, he can be tighter in the Kharish Madhabra Venish because Rabbi Huda says there's no requirement at all. The Loi Kasha, and it's not a Kasha. I, we had the. The case, the brayso by Birchas Amoza and Veloy Kasha, Hadi De Hadi Rabe. There's a difference of his shita and the shita that he said in the name of his Rebbe, the Slan Rabbi Yehuda, Aimer Mishum Rabbi Lezav and Azariah. He said in the name of his Rebbe, Rabbi Lezav and Azariah, Akereshma Zariah Sheyashmiya LaOzna. There is a requirement that you have to hear Shenem Arshma Yisrael Hashem Lakin or Hashem Echad. There is a lecharchila requirement, so that where we learned over there by Birchos Amos and lecharchila, you're required. That is Rabbi Huda in the name of Allah Zabena Zaya. Right. 
Amalei Rab Meir, Rab Meir says, "Harei Yoyim, Rashi and Nachim itself chayim alav avecha achar kavanas alev heinein advar." Rab Meir argues. He says, "No, you're not required to hear what you're saying because it's dependent on the heart." Alav avecha, so you don't have to hear what you're saying. So now it comes out that we have three shitas. We have Rabbi Yehuda that says that Rabbi Yehuda says that lecharchila that. You are, or Yehuda's name, or rather, in the name of Lezab and Azari, that Lacharchila, you are required. But the Evid, you're Yaitse, but Lacharchila, you're required. Rabbi Yaisi says, even with the Evid, you're not Yaitse. We have Ramirez said, there's no requirement, even Lacharchila. Hashtadah says, Lacharchi, Afilu, Tema, Rabbi Yehuda, Karabi, Svirlai. So, therefore, we do not have to distinguish between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yehuda in the name of Lezab and Azari. He holds, like his Rebbe, he holds that there's a Lacharchila, there's a requirement. And there's no difference between him and Rabbi Lezab and Zaya. They both hold that the Kharkhila there's a requirement, but the Yevad, you're Yaitzim. But like Hash Rabbi Meir, how Rabbi Yehuda. There's a difference between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yehuda. That Rabbi Yehuda holds the Kharkhila required. But the Yevad, you're Yaitzim. Rabbi Yaisi says, even with the Yevad, you're not Yaitzim. Rabbi Meir says, even the Kharkhila, there's no requirement. 